What do you think, Wes? Are we good to go? I think we're good to go. I have a feeling if a uh, deer steps out tonight, we're going to be visiting the picking house. Climbed up into the tree stand and Taylor sat on the seat that was a little bit higher than mine. All right, we're up in the tree stand. We both have a crossbow, which neither of us have ever shot a crossbow before. I've shot like a compound bow and we've both shot rifles and stuff, but uh, in Maryland, you can hunt with a crossbow. And so we are hunting for Sika Hine and we're also hunting for uh, whitetail doe so we can we can shoot a whitetail doe or we can shoot a sick of hind so we're just gonna sit here for a little bit and wait until they come they have some bait out uh, which is also legal here and it's just pretty cool this is a really cool experience and something that we did not expect to have so this is this is a management hunt and so our tags that we're using for this hunt they're a management tag and that helps them manage the population that they have in this area and there's quite a few hind uh, sika deer that they have to shoot every year in order to manage the population and it's several hundred of them so we're actually helping them by uh, coming and doing this hunt today it's my first hunting experience besides those ducks that we went out the other morning. It's my very first time in a tree stand. My very first time holding a crossbow. My very first time shooting an animal. So, I'm excited, I'm nervous. Uh, we're pretty high up, so I'm a little, you know, nervous of heights, but. All right, here we go. like a baby uh, hind come in and it was, in. it was super cute <laughs> and it started eating some of the corn and it would uh, kind of look up at us every now and then and we would just stay frozen and then it'd go back to eating and then that one left Chief. and then uh, Chief's drinking a bunch of water <laughs> right now uh, then another group came in couple stags and a few hinds and Taylor had a really good shot but there were two spikes right behind her and so she didn't take the shot which was smart just in case you know the arrow went through or if she missed or something um, so that, that was kind of a bum bummer because it was a good shot and I really wanted her to to make a shot rather than myself like I wanted to as well, but I think it'd be awesome to have her do it. And so then a little bit later, it was starting to get really dark and a bunch more came in on both sides of us. And Taylor had a really good shot. I thought she was going to take it, but it, it was too dark. Yeah. Yeah. It was too dark for me and the hind was kind of in a shaded area already. So I just didn't feel comfortable. And then he turned with his bow, like he was going to shoot. So I, I, 
backed down or just was like, you take it. But I, I, I whispered it. I don't think you heard me. Yeah, I didn't hear you. So he didn't take it. He I was just, to take it. I was just pulling the crossbow up just to see, um, look through the scope to tell if it was a little button buck or if it was a hind. I had a couple shots that I could have taken. And so at that point, um, I was going to take a shot. And the, one of the stags uh, saw our movement and he barked. They make like a barking sound. It kind of scared me. And uh, it was really loud. And as soon as he did that, then they all took off running. So it was a good experience. I think we could have been a little bit more quiet and a little bit yeah. less movement. Um, we were trying to communicate and I really wanted her to take a shot. Um, but I had a shot. so. And I couldn't and, see it in the dark so yeah how dark it was for me i can see so, anyway. so then it got too dark um and then our friend wes came and picked us up so thank you wes for taking care of us today and setting us up with all that i mean he he put that tree stand up in the tree today uh, it was a brand new location and everything so um it was really awesome that we got that experience and we're really thankful Heather, you did awesome your first thanks yeah. First, uh, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, was it? It's not your first hunting experience, but your first like, would you say? My first like legit hunting experience. Like, besides holding a. Yeah, a you were holding a weapon. Weapon and waiting and being quiet. Like I've never done that before. Yeah, like the other day when we went duck hunting, that was her first time. But I was duck hunting, hunting. But yeah, you, she didn't have a shotgun, so this time she was actually out to kill, and. uh yeah we got pretty close so if you're new to the channel uh, we have been traveling all across the country the last almost 10 months now mm -hmm. right yeah and we are visiting a bunch of friends and family we are staying here at this property and kind of house sitting staying with some new friends uh, here for a month and doing some hunting and different things like that so push the subscribe button all the way in if you haven't done so already and then if you are a subscriber, definitely, yeah, you're awesome. That's all I got to say. You don't have to do anything. You know what to do. So push the subscribe button all the way in. Click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And hit that thumb more button down below. We'll see you in the next one. Hats off to you.